In this presentation, we are going to look at essentially this to do with linear models. So I'm just going to read this out. If you are looking at this on YouTube, probably uh, full screen or something like that. In an experiment to determine hydrolysable tannins in plants by absorption spectroscopy, the following results were obtained from 10 samples. Uh, tabulated below. Okay, a simple linear regression model predicting absorbance values using concentrations was fitted to the data. Okay, that's the data there, but we're not really actually going to use it. But there it is, there. That's the data. But what we do is we actually will make a little scatter plot of the data, and we find that all the points are. I'm just going to sort of paint them in here a bit thicker. Is that the points are uh, sort of have this sort of shape? Uh, you might notice there that there is a sort of curvature to what we're looking at there. There's a sort of curvature effect. There's sort of the, the, the sort of trend line sort of curves like that. But the thing is, we've fitted a simple linear regression model to the data, and that will be the corresponding regression line. Okay. Now, there, it's close enough, but it doesn't really properly represent the reality of the situation that is to say it doesn't show any curvature okay so with that in mind we're sort of saying that the simple linear regression model is flawed okay now so uh, let's just go down here to a couple of the questions uh, this needs to be rephrased a bit the question actually but this is from a view sheet a simple linear regression model and two polynomial models were fitted to the data descriptions of all three fitted models are found in the R uh, code blocks below the IKK information criteria this is important here is listed okay so we're going to work a lot out of the IKK information criterion so the first question is: Is simple linear regression model suitable? Explain your answer with regards to this, with re, uh, with reference to the scatter plot. Essentially, it's not because simple linear regression is linear, so it's got that straight line. Where what we're seeing is like curvature, and the linear regression is a model which is linear is not picking up that curvature. Okay, so it's not useful. Okay, so what we might sort of use here instead is try out these polynomial models. Okay, so write down the regression equation of each of these uh, three models. So that's a little typo there. Essentially, what we need is the regression equations for each of the three models. So let's do that. So here is our simple linear regression, SLR. Okay, simple linear regression. This is model one. And why? Just for all of these uh, uh, questions, why is absorbance okay, and x is concentration okay? Now, so for this first model, I'll just do this in black. What we have here is y hat. That's the predicted value for uh, absorption with this model. Uh, is not point. I'm going to just do it to four decimal places. Not point four four one four four one plus not point two eight zero eight x. Okay. So where are we picking that up from? This column here. Okay. Though those are the regression coefficients here. The regression coefficients are in this column. regression coefs coefficients okay uh, something that we're going to sort of pick up on down here is I'm going to look at this again later but the AIC for this model is minus 19.43 I'll just do that to two decimal places okay now so that's model one let's look at model two and what we have here is absorbance explained by concentration and quant concentration squared. So these, uh, so it says to you what we have here is a squaring term. So what we have here is a quad. This is polynomial, okay. But uh, more accurately in this situation, we would describe it as quadratic, okay. As there's a element, there's a sort of variable to the squared there, okay. So concentration plus concentration squared. So let's just write this down here. Y hat equals not point. Uh, uh, by the way, x uh, x and y are concentration, but we also have concentration squared, which is x squared. 
uh, 0.065, we'll just go to four decimal places, plus 0.6492x minus 0.1405x squared. Okay, so that's the regression equation here. Okay, uh, we notice also again, we're look at, going to again look at the AIC value. So here in this case, the AIC value is minus 61.53 okay so just make a mental note of that for later on we're going to look at one more model here and it is this one here model 3 okay so what we have here is a cubic this is also polynomial but it is also we would also just be a bit more specific to say it's a cubic relationship so we have concentration x x squared and x cubed okay F to predict y okay so it's a cubic okay uh, so let's just write our equation here y hat equals minus 0 0.0137 uh, just to be clear again it's this column here and I'm just doing it to four decimal places plus 0 0.6086x minus 0 0.1081x squared minus 0 0.0081x cubed. Okay, so that looks pretty uh, interesting. But what we'll make a note of here is the AIC value here is minus 60.69 okay again just two decimal places just a sort of quick remark about polynomials before I go any further that they essentially the thing about polynomials is that they do allow for some curvature okay so it's why they would be desirable in this case okay so polynomial this would be sort of a quadrat quadratic to be sort of very minimal level of curvature whereas cubic you might get a bit more curvature in your model okay uh, the next one above that would be called quartic it's a bit, probably going a bit too far for us uh, but that would have more sort of uh, curvature again more wiggliness essentially so it's essentially you have to sort of figure out when it, do you have enough curvature and then when are you overfitting okay something you have to be very careful when you're doing this sort of stuff is overfitting okay so yeah so you have something you have to think about when is enough uh, allowance for curvature enough and when is it too much okay so what we're going to use is AIC the AIC criterion okay and just remember that smaller is better okay and also when you have negative numbers just be careful about what means smaller when you have negative numbers okay so our first model AIC for one model one which was linear the AIC was sorry I just write it over here uh, the AIC was minus 19 let's go back here and have a, actually have a look at it minus 19.43 okay model two which was the cubic sorry the quadratic one that was minus sixty one point five three okay and then the last model model three that was minus sixty point six nine okay so which is the smallest sorry that's the linear that's the quadratic and that's the cubic now the smallest one is actually this one here the quadratic model that is the best of our models because it allows for curvature but it doesn't overfit the data okay so that's the best model we're going to work with and so that is our, our, our question essentially there's one more component there which of this uh, models would you use model 2 uh, justify your answer with appropriate statistical values AIC okay so that's that one done using the best fit model predict the value for absorbance when the concentration is 1.2 this is a simple enough one essentially just actually what we will do here is I'll just write it in here 
y hat when x equals 1.2 is equal to 0.0065 plus 0 0.6 for 9 2 times 1.2 minus 0 0.1405 uh, 1.2 squared that's a little bit of calculator work I'll let you finish that yourself okay so that is the predicted value of y when x equals 1.2 so that's question of polynomial regression and AIC so for one of my groups that's question 31 okay well, actually, on, on, as currently listed on my listings, it's 31. Okay, that probably might change. Okay, goodbye.